Hello! Welcome to today's episode. Today we're going to edit this picture using Adobe Lightroom. Stay until the end to see the process and the final result. Here we go. Okay, so this picture I took it at Los Santos, which is a uh, tropical forest. And when I was going to a river, I found this frog. Uh, which this frog has the size of a very small coin so what I did was to take the picture handheld um, I'm going to show the specifications I use right now so let's start with the edit uh, what I like to do always is to uh, see how it looks with the auto adjustment just to give me an idea if I want to go on that route or not and with this particular image I think it, it works fine so what I do always as a first step is to fix any exposure issues so I'm going to move the exposure panel until I, until I like it so okay that's fine right now uh, since I cho chose auto, uh, it raised a lot of the shadows, so I'm going to lower them until there, okay? And I'm going to increase a little bit of the texture and the clarity and the vibrance as well. Now, uh, this is the, the most important aspect of the photo, and is that the subject is in the center and since it was a really cold day, uh, it has very muted colors. So I'm going to try to bring out the, the subject more so that it catches your eye. And to do that, I'm going to draw a mask. So first, I'm going to draw a mask on the subject eyes since, I want, since they are yellow and I want to bring them out a little more. Okay, so you see how the eyes attract your attention. Uh, you need to be very careful when doing masks and increasing the saturation. Uh, if you go too far, it, it looks, it doesn't look natural, and we want the photo to look natural at all costs. Now I'm going to do another mask on the subject's body because uh, the eyes and the bottom part of the body have this yellow color and the top side has this like bluish kind of look and I want to emphasize those colors as well okay so this is the result of the mask we just did this is the original photo and the mask image so it's looking a lot better now right uh, but I still feel the subject is too far away and we can see this line of the like in other colors it's a little bit distracting so I'm going to zoom in also because uh, of the aperture I use the image has a lot of bokeh which means that the front and the back of the subject well of the image are not in focus which also draws attention to the subject but to emphasize that even more I'm going to add a little bit of uh, a vignette yeah that's a lot better and I'm going now uh, to add some color on the highlights and the shadows as well so what I like to do is to increase the highlights and go over all the colors until there's one that catches my attention. Okay, I really like uh, like adding some yellow, a bit of yellow to the highlights. I think it's because the image was very cold. You can see in the histogram there's a lot of blue on the on the picture. It gives more warm to it, and uh, it matches the color of the frogs on the eyes as well. And now for the shadows. I'm going to do the same, go over all the colors, probably I'm going to go with blue. I really like this 
like aqua kind of blue. I'm going to add more uh, red to the highlights. So, okay, well that's it for this edit. I'm going to show you the before and after again. So this is the before. It's nice to be able to bring out the subject because it was very small and uh, I had to use a, a ma macro lens to, in order to, to be able to get the, like the skin and the eyes of, the, of, the, of this frog. That's it and I, I hope you liked this short video. Uh, I just wanted to post something uh, doing, given the circumstances we're in and I hope you find this video useful. And again, thank you so much for watching. Peace and have a great Sunday.